Welcome to my class on our super fluffy Cassata Easy Bake Vanilla Sponge Cake. Wow, this cake is the bomb. It is just simply awesome. Why do I say that? There are very many reasons. I'll just name a few. Um, the ingredients are readily available. You don't need to, you know, dash off to the market, dash off to the store to go and get all this uh, sour cream, all that um, um, Greek yogurt, oh butter, and all those things you always have to run around to put together to come up with a cake this cake is so easy to come put together we have just simple ingredients that you'll always have in your kitchen and in your pantry i mean you you you, you don't need to dash around and when you bake the cake it's fast it doesn't take a long time your staff your clients, your family, your guests, everyone is gonna love it because it's so, so fluffy. It bounces to the touch. You can use it for those lovely layers of cake. You can slice it easily without fear of it breaking. You know, you can just slice it, put lots of those delicious creams that you're going to learn or you've learned in our module 14, Cassata Cake Feelings. You can fill the layers up. You can also, of course, convert it to whatever flavor you like. We, 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 we named it vanilla, but you can use lemon, you can use strawberry, you can even make the chocolate version, which I'll also show you in another, in another class. But now this is the vanilla version of a Cassata Easy Bake Vanilla Sponge Cake. Right, so we're now going to introduce the ingredients we're going to use for this delicious cake. Um, we have here cake flour. I'm sure you can learn how to make cake flour on our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, go right there now, Baking Intelligence on YouTube and subscribe so you can learn or you get all the free stuff we have for you on the YouTube channel, okay? Le when you get there, like, subscribe, and click on notifications so you're the first to know when we have something new, all right? So now, this is our cake flour, 90 grams of cake flour, and then we have our granulated sugar, 90 grams of granulated sugar, and we have eggs we separated the eggs so we have three egg whites here and we have three egg yolks here and then in this um little dessert bowl we have uh vanilla cassata vanilla oil um and then we have here we have milk 30 grams of milk 30 grams of 30 mils. You can get that with two tablespoons of liquid milk. And then right here, we have the same 30 grams or 30 mils of vegetable oil. Two tablespoons, 30 grams, 30 mils of vegetable oil. And here we have one gram or a pinch of salt. Um, I think I omitted saying this, uh, for the cassata vanilla oil, it's half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of cassata vanilla oil. So these are the ingredients, the few ingredients we're going to use to rustle up our amazing, super fluffy cassata easy bake vanilla sponge cake. Let's go. Right, so our first step now is to um, mix up our egg yolk. So we have our egg yolk here. So we're transferring it to this other bowl. Okay, let's try to scrape it all out so we don't waste any. Okay, so that's our egg yolk. And then we have adding up the salt okay and of course our vanilla oil so 
we're adding this up here just want to mix it until it's well combined okay so this should be fine now make sure you don't have any lumps in it so that's what I'm trying to ensure okay so we're done right so we're going to continue with our next step um, which is making the meringue okay so we have our egg white here so we're going to pour it into this bowl and we're going to use a hand mixer we're going to use a hand mixer it's just um, it's a small cake so there's no need to use a stand mixer, a hand mixer will, will do the job and so we'll start with we'll, we'll, first of all we're going to whip it um, to a bit of a foamy stage then we'll add our sugar in in three batches okay Right, so we're going to add in our granulated sugar in three batches while we mix our meringue on, okay? Right, so we're getting to our soft fix stage. So we're just going to test it now for soft fix. If you lift up your your mixer and you form peaks. Can you see that? The peaks and the peaks curl over. You lift it up, the peaks come up and curl over. Those are soft peaks. Are you seeing them? So those are soft peaks and we're set for our next stage. Yeah, so in this next stage, we're just going to gently add the um, the egg yolk in a in a at a very slow rate, the slowest rate on your on your mixer. So we'll just add it in, mix it in. So let's just get all in first. Okay. Okay. So we're going to use the first. Just going to we don't want to over mix it just yeah so I'm I'm actually not putting it on and then I'll just put it on a bit yeah that's it so it's mixed in so we're moving on to our next stage now so our next stage now is to sieve our 90 grams of flour into into the mix okay cake flour remember like i said you can 
watch the video on our youtube channel on how to make your cake flour so we're gonna sieve sieve this into into our mix and then we're gonna fold in gently very gently okay so we have it all in so we're going to fold it in when you're folding try and shake off the flour so it doesn't form unnecessary lumps You don't want um, lumps, flour, batches of flour lumps in your cake. Now we don't want to over mix, so we're just going to fold it in up until it just it is just combined. Okay. So we're just trying to get the flour to the stage at which it is just combined. Trying to scrip off the sides to get any flour hanging around the sides. Then trying to ensure that um, the flour is inside. But we don't want to deflate the cake because there is no, there is absolutely no baking powder in this cake. So the meringue that we made with the egg white is the raisin agent for this cake so we don't want to deflate the meringue so i think we're ready to go now it's all combined so we're moving to our next stage right so our, our last stage we're going to mix in the milk and the vegetable oil together here okay let's get all the vegetable oil in normally likes to stick in stick into the container so mix it into one stream and then we take a bit of our butter from here mm. Right, so we've mixed this in now with the liquid and now we are going to mix it in, fold it in gently into the remaining of the butter. So we're just going to fold it in gently. And just get that, scrape that off. So we just fold it in until there's one consistent butter. Okay. Remember, we don't want to over mix. We just want to get it to a consistent batter. And we have to do this very gently. So, it's combined now, so we move to our next stage. Right, so... We're just going to now pour the butter into the greased and lined pan. This is a six inch pan. You should use a six inch diameter pan, six inch diam with three inch height. If you don't have up to a three inch height, you can 
line it this way that we did because this pan is about two and a half inch so you line it this way with it sticking out so that um, because this cake is going to rise tall so that um, it won't fall yeah so that's it we're now going to let me just get as much of the butter in to, so we don't waste any in we're just going to use this knife around just to break up any air bubbles or you can use a skewer if you have a skewer or a toothpick you can use that or a thin knife just to break up any air bubbles butter in the butter also you drop it twice yeah and then that's it it goes into a preheated oven the oven should have been preheated to 170 degrees centigrade and you bake for about 30 minutes and dip in your your spoon you dip in your tooth pick or your skewer to find out if it's ready and it will have a bounce and let's just go on we'll bring it out now right so our cake is nicely out of the oven and the first thing to do when it comes out of the oven is to drop it twice or thrice right and then you allow it to cool down for some time and then for about 15 minutes let it cool down and then you can turn it over to complete the cooling okay so we're going to we're just going to remove the grease proof paper right and then we're going to turn it over onto this rack Okay, so we'll put our cake rack here and we we'll turn. So it's turned over now. And we we'll just gently lift up. We we'll just gently lift up. And it's nicely on our rack. Now we can turn it over gently so it continues cooling down on the right side up. When we allow it to cool, when it's still warm, we can slice it. There are a lot of things we can do with this cake. We can slice it into two layers or three layers. It's easy to slice. We can also um, I want to demonstrate the fluffiness of this cake so I'm going to transfer it into this plate and the good thing about it is that it's so easy to handle it's not a breaky cake at all okay so I'm just going to cut it in the middle so you can have a good look at what it looks like inside. So 
want to make sure why it's been sliced through wow so we're going to okay we're going to open up the cake do we have a good look you have a good look of the cake it looks super delicious super delicious doesn't it fluffy soft tender moist and now I just want to demonstrate how fluffy it is right so we're going to do a bouncing castle demonstration here okay so that's my hand bouncing off this cake supporting with the other hand and it bounces right up we're gonna do it the other way down bounces right up we're gonna bounce this side bounces right up and then you can see how fluffy it is it just bounces just bounces this is just a beautiful bouncing castle right another thing you can do with this cake is you can slice it very easily unlike other cakes you can slice it into halves and fill it with delicious amazing cream so easily you can see how I just put it in my hands and I'm slicing I've sliced so that's one one piece another piece just gonna slice it again so easily without effort okay there you have four amazing slices and these slices we can put them back together as a cake fill it up in layers put a lovely filling in between and you have a full cake Bon appétit